not that I'm a perfectionist, but... No. <laughs> I like to start out taping off a shape. Uh, I like to have a juxtaposition between um, the, the ground or the background, which is the wall or the paper page or whatever I'm working on. I like to tape off the edge to kind of have that really stark definition between both both of the two things. These paintings, I added a lot, a lot of white to them. I basically tape off a shape and then I start working on the inside. Um, usually I have to prep the surface with gesso or some sort of white and I like to let that not dry so that I can mix in the colors on top of that with the whites. After I graduated high school, I was fooling around for a year, kind of like figuring out what I wanted to do, like a lot of people do. I was really heavy into drawing and kind of mixed media collage, those kinds of things. I wasn't really necessarily into painting. Um, but around my third year, um, I did my first wall painting, my first mural, and yeah, it was really exciting. It was really good to, to work on a bigger scale and to use paint instead of just like always dry media. It's, it's a whole different feeling. So. Um, I have been doing the wall paintings for a while, but they've really evolved over time. Yeah, I, I like just being able to bleh, kind of barf on the wall and then it's, it's just all there and, and I can kind of like look at it afterwards and understand, you know, where I was at when I was painting that and not like, you know, my emotional state and all that kind of stuff, but just like, you know, why did I move my hand like that? Like, why was I smudging that part? Like, it's, just, it's interesting to see it's kind of like a, yeah, a diary or something like that. I like to work fast and I like to kind of be done with it when it's done. My parents always get a little stressed about it, like, you can't sell it or you can't, um, you know, keep it, it's going to be gone. Um, but I really like that element of it. It's kind of, you know, thinking about graffiti and stuff too, it's similar to that. It's there for a while, but it's gone. I find the, when I'm the most attached, it's kind of like right after it's just done or like a couple days after, like, I'm still pretty attached to these paintings that I just finished last week. Um, but in a month when I have to, you know, sand them down and, and get rid of them, I'll probably be over it and excited about something else, which for me is good. Otherwise, I think it would, I would get stuck probably, you know, focusing on the past instead of actually making more work. <laughs>